We're so glad you could join us this evening. And Sam got off early. Yeah, well, it's good to come out and really enjoy the show that she's going to be on tonight. Yeah, very exciting. Where is Mary right yeah, now? Where is she? Oh, I think she's with Lizzie. They're preparing some snacks or something. We'll go find her. It's gonna start soon. Would you? Yes. You mind? Thank you. So it's good to see you. It's been a long time. Yeah, you know, Mary, thanks for having us over tonight. I'm pretty, pretty excited for your show. And that's good. That's good. And how is your boyfriend doing? Oh, we broke up. You did? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, what happened? It just wasn't working out. I don't know. He's kind of cramping my style a little bit, so hmm. I had to let him go. Yeah, it seems like you have a lot of short-term relationships, right? You know, Mary, I'm not sure what you're implying, but I just, I don't want to settle down with anybody unless he's right for me, so. Okay, right. Yeah, but. No judgment or anything, it's just curious. No, no, of course not, of course not. But hey, speaking of boyfriends, is your fiance coming over tonight? Of course he is. Baby loves the Tomorrow Show. He went nuts when I told him I've been contacted. <laughs> you know, Mary, I just don't know about him. What do you mean? He's an angel. He has manners and ethics and his eye on a well-paying future. If that's a crime, then I'm guilty too. Hurry up, you guys. It's almost time. I just love the Tremorrow show. I've seen every episode. I like it when they catch criminals and really stick it to them, you know? Like that bank robber on the show last week. I remember this one guy a couple months ago. What was his name? Uh, Hubie Hackum or something? Oh, he was always whining about his childhood, so they took him back to the sixth grade. And made him 12 years old again? Loved it. I wonder how they do that. Trick photography? It's a future thing. They have time travel and space colonies. I'm sure they have temporary age reversal too. Mm, and criminals too, unfortunately. <laughs> I like how they punish him. <laughs> Yeah, did you guys hear about the uh, preschoolers that got caught stealing apples from the Safeway over there? Said they were hungry. I like that justifies it. Kids today. Our Mary, she's the one who spotted them and turned them in. Hey sis, hello mother. It's grand to see you all. Dearest, we're worried. We were terrified you weren't going to make it on time. I had my church meeting, Concerned Citizens for a Moral Society, with the Reverend Bowell, you know? But I told him how to support my sister, and he told me to hurry on my way. Well, that's very lovely. Please, have a seat here with us. You know, it's, uh... It's really quiet. I was expecting more reporters or cameras or something. They don't invite reporters anymore. They don't need them, really, since it's broadcast in every century. I still can't believe they picked your house for this week's throw. Oh, hi, Billy. David! Hey, babe. You remember the guys, Week and Kenny? It's my instructors at the academy. Menace to criminals everywhere! You've been drinking. Drinking? Just celebrating. I'm graduating to the force tomorrow, remember? Bad guys everywhere. Beware. No. Don't, David. Please. Don't what? I don't want you to kiss me or mess my hair. We're in its division. Our great grandchildren could be watching. I'm never gonna get grandchildren at that rate. Listen, bro. You wanna be a cop, right? So this is your chance to be moral. Upstanding. The whole country watching. I told Sam here he should join the force too and be a manly man for a change. Shut up everyone, it's on. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the True Morrow Show with tonight's hosts, Vaka, Maka, Zaka, Laka, and Kaka. Coming to you live from the 30th century bringing you yesterday's celebrities today. I love that, that we're famous, or will be. Or one of us will. Famous for what, I wonder? Saving the world? Ending pollution? Ugh. I think it'll be Mary. She's the smart one. Yeah, Mary's the big brain. I think she'll invent something. Some kind of medicine or- Or cure for baldness? <laughs> or impotence, maybe? 
Darling, I hope so. In previous episodes, we've sent our clone images back into the past through the miracle of InstaVision. With our new technology, we can bring people from the past into our own time. You mean we're really gonna be there in the future? All of us? Just a few of you. The important ones. You're Mary Everson? I'm, uh, yes, I... Come into the future, Mary. What? Oh, Holy shit. Where'd she go? She's on the tube. Look. She's in time face at the moment. And here's a surprise. You are too. And you, and you, and you. No way. Ladies and gentlemen, androids and other sentients, welcome to a very special episode of The Trumaro Show. We're here in the present, in the year 3022. Simultaneously, we're in the home of Mary Everson in the 21st century. She's here with us tonight, along with her brother Michael, her fiance David, her best friend Judy, and Judy's boyfriend Billy. One of these five people is destined to be remembered as the greatest criminal in the history of the universe. What? One of them commits an act so terrible, it changes history and leads to death and devastation beyond imagining. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. No friends of mine would ever do that. Turn on the truth ray. One of these people is a criminal, but which one? Tell us about the most terrible thing you've ever done in your life. You first, Judy. Just say it, Judy. You can't fight the truth, Ray. I cheated on a placement exam when I was in high school. Judy! I, I, I had to, to, to graduate. my employment application. I said I had experience filing when I, I did it. That's disgusting to think I ever called you my friend. Mary! You shouldn't talk about it, Judy. You could get, get canned, lose your job, you know? I, 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 I can't help it. She can't lie under the truth, Ray. What about you, David? Me? Same question. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I don't have to answer that. You do, actually. In a few years ago, I used to sneak into the neighbor's house and smoke weed at night. He did a crack one time, too. And then we trashed the place. This is terrible. I will never become a cop if they find out that it's illegal drugs. History shows you never did become a policeman after this broadcast. You were expelled from the academy the next morning. You eventually found a job as a custodian in your old high school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to marry a custodian? Honey, I'm not talking to you. Your turn, Michael. My turn for what? Telling your secrets. What you don't want the whole world, your sister, or the Reverend Baldwell to know. I, uh, this is nonsense. I. Oh, go ahead, Mikey. I'm sure you've done nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> Some people like me. I'm into bondage. I, I like being tied to the bed. <laughs> Mikey! I hired this girl once. I mean, this sexy little hooker. She took me to her place. She took out these handcuffs Who are and she took- Who television, Michael? Mom and Dad? The Reverend? He was there filming us. <laughs> we went down into her basement. She put me in these leather straps. <laughs> Do you 
you know what we do to dirty, dirty boys? Boys who have been doing filthy things in their free time. I want to know. You want to know, don't you? You like that, don't you? Say you hate it! I, I hate say it. you hate it! I, I ask hate you. it! Yes, you do! I hate it! Yes! And when I ask you about something, you say yes, ma'am. You answer me with a yes, ma'am. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Try right again. Not mom. Ma'am. I'm not your mom. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Screw you. All right. I killed a guy a couple years ago. Really? It was an accident, baby. This dude was hassling me, and I took him out back, and I hit him. And then he kicked me like in the nads, you know? And, it, and I got mad, and I hit him with a rock, and I... I don't want to hear this. I didn't mean to. It was terrible, baby, but it wasn't my fault. I was drunk, see? And I, I'd never ever... That's no excuse for what you did. Any of you! Or for what you did. Tell us, Mary. Tell you what? I'm not like these hooligans. I've never done anything bad in my life. Why, I've never even lied to anyone. Think back, Mary, to your past. To kindergarten. The kindergarten? The M&M's. The what? The candy. The... Oh, oh, you mean that? <laughs> I admit it. I, I stole some candy once from a grocery store. I'm a thief beyond redemption. Send me to Alcatraz. You're too modest, Mary. The truth is... You single-handedly caused the most devastating disaster to ever strike the human race. <sighs> That's crazy. I never... The date is June 23, 1987. Young Mary Everson walks into the Sushi Ushi candy store and pockets a bag of M&M's without paying for it. Hello, Mr. Sushi Ushi. Hello, Mr. Sushi Ushi. It's wonderful to see you again. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Big deal. She stole some candy. That's not all she did. Watch. Watch as she walks out of the store, eats the M&M's, then drops the wrapper on the ground, ignoring a do not litter sign on a trash can nearby. Watch as the wrapper falls silently to the ground, landing on an innocent ant and killing it. But not just any ant, Mary. You killed an ant which, if it had lived, would have given birth to another ant. And another, whose great-great-granddaughter aunt went on to bite Professor Alvin Bloomington on the head while he was searching for a cure for loopinupin disease. Stunned by the ant's attack, Bloomington realizes that since insect venom can cause symptoms similar to loopin whooping disease, a protein in the ant's saliva may be the key to its prevention. That's how history was supposed to happen. That's how it would have happened in an ideal world. But it didn't, because of Mary's actions. Because the hand that Mary killed never went on to become the ancestor to the one that bit Bloomington. So Bloomington dies in obscurity, while 15 million people die. Again, 15 million people die an agonizing death of lupin-lupin disease before a cure could even be found. Boo! Boo! It may take centuries, but justice catches up with criminals as it has tonight with Mary Everson. She's adopted. Mary Everson will be prosecuted in our time era for her crimes against humanity. Her friends will be sent back to their own century where they'll face the consequences of their own misdeeds. Show. Bringing you yesterday's celebrities today.
Tony Ambleton, producer of The Tomorrow Show. I mean, I make it myself in my basement here in Future City. I do all the animation and stuff on my Super Mini Mac. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. The thing is, we really need your money. It takes cash to produce a show of this quality. I mean, we have to rent the police robots, rent the studio, and fly in people from the past to humiliate in front of everybody. We know there's another recession and everything, and inflation's like killing everybody, but won't you please give $10 million? Even if you can only give $5 million, it'll keep this kind of programming coming and keep the Tomorrow Show on the air. Please use the pay button and the permit chip in your brain implant to send payment today. Brought to you by the Police Robots of America, serving the galaxy since 2025. Pay us or die.